Good evening, folks. This is Laura Walther, and I'm going to thank you for joining me again for this post. Uh, we're posting today to show you the final arcade cabinet, which I realize has been well over a year since I posted. Um, I've been extremely busy on other projects, um, but I finished this project, I believe it was in May of 2017, almost two weeks after I showed you the video on how to configure the board and the um, buttons and the uh, layout. Anyway, she's complete. Trust me, this is the ultimate arcade game. When I say that, I mean, I'm so impressed and I'm very pleased uh, with the final outcome. Um, I want to apologize to anybody that I did not reply back to any emails on. I believe I replied to them all, but some I, I'm, I'm sure I had them. But please um, accept my apology, blame it to my head and not to my heart. Uh, but let me show you a little bit about this um, arcade cabinet. Some other things I failed probably to mention was I did an upgrade on the amp inside. I have a 20 watt uh, amplifier. We have our three speakers. I had a, an Eclipse center channel that, that I was not using for one of my older systems. I also added a subwoofer uh, on the inside uh, of a little six inch um, subwoofer. Um, it adds a little nice rumble to all the games. Uh, all of the graphics I created in Photoshop, uh, had them sent out on the template to match. So let's take a closer look at the cabinet. Then we'll crank it up so you can see some of the games and just see the excitement factor of creating it. So let's take a closer look. So as you can see, we take a closer look at the cabinet. So I also want to explain to you, as part of the gaming system, this over 25,000 games on this system. I have an eight terabyte hard drive uh, installed, as well as I have an SSD hard drive. I have a one terabyte uh, which gives me, for the operating system, um, and for the uh, configuration files, and for a quicker boot up. Uh, but the games are all on an eight terabyte hard drive system. There's over 300 wheels. And within each one of these wheels, as high on some games as three, 400 games. A lot of, lot of um, Chinese and Japanese games, but all of the classics. So we're gonna crank it up, crank up the sound so you hear it a little and I'll just show you a little bit about what we got. And we go through the wheel. I mean sights and sound fantastic. Game from just about every game manufacturer up to PlayStation 2. Every type of game, racing, fighting, air, you think of it, it's on here. Casino games, I don't even play. Gun games, golf, and one of my favorite, pinball. So let's take a look at some of this pinball game. Now we're inside the pinball wheel, so we can see all of the games. Folk, when I say this is fantastic. Avengers, Ant-Man, Black Marvel, Captain America, City Wall. Fantastic Four, Ghost Rider, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Rage and Avengers, Thor, Wolverine, X-Men. Let's take a look at the X-Men. Loading complete. 
Ah, right, while she loads up, this is great. This is great. I love pinball. And the realistic sounds and graphics of this is just like the original pinball machine. And ask me how I know, because I have, I own some of these pinball machines. And they're exactly the same. Anyway, take a look. You can change the view. We have to astonish them. Control the Light it. Every button you change it, you can control the view of the table. This is fantastic. Side buttons. Scroll and display as you play. Nudge button. Charles, you are so naive. Mortal Kombat Street Fighter. The whole Street Fighter series. Shogun Final Fantasy. Hello. Great games, even like Metal Slug. Let's take a look. Metal Slug 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Loading complete. Start. Full screen. I set that button up. I programmed that full screen button. As you can see, I'm not the greatest on them. Back to the wheel. We'll show you one more. Choose your fighter. Also, you can switch it to full screen, push up a button. So once again, folks, as I stated early in the preview, this is the ultimate arcade cabinet. And you can build one yourself. You can do it. There's a lot of help out there, a lot of forms, a lot of good people with knowledge that'll help you in the configuration. If you have any questions, you're not sure, I can help. I've done it, you can do it too. So anyway, enough talk, back to games.